guys, Awesome Nerd Show here, and today we're doing an unboxing of the DC Multiverse Wonder Woman set. So, um, these are bros once again, and um, he's gotten multiple of these DC Multiverse set. But this is the first set since we've been like doing videos like this that we have a, um, mostly complete. So I think there is one, but they just kind of come with some extra stuff. But these are just like the DC or the Marvel Legends, as in you get like a figure with each set, and then they come with a piece to build something. And in this set, they're building Ares. So in this whole Wonder Woman set, we have um, from, uh, of course, these are all from the new Wonder Woman movie. So we have uh, Queen Hippolyta, or Hippo, whatever, I call it Hippolyta, but I don't know exactly how you say it, which is Wonder Woman's mom. Then we have, of course, Wonder Woman, Steve Trevor, played by Chris Pine, and then uh, different Wonder Woman. It says uh, Diana of something I can't read, whatever that last name is. So we'll just go ahead and unbox all these and then go into them individually. And then, of course, we'll build Ares and everything. So I'll get all these unboxed and we'll be back. Okay, guys, so now we got um, the packs open up. So I'll start with the number one, which is Wonder Woman, of course. So this, we, of course, have Diana. I forget what her last name is. Um... But here she is, and she's in, like, of course, her, like, normal outfit, but she's in, like, some black robe, and I thought maybe you could, like, take the robe off and just have, like, a normal Wonder Woman, but, um, apparently it doesn't because it's attached to her arms and, like, her head and stuff like that, so you can't really take it off. But here's, of course, an up-close, if the camera will focus, on her face, and, of course, she has her, um, tiara on, of course, her, all her battle, like, normal Wonder Woman gear. She has, um, spots here, so she has her lasso on this side and then she has a thing for her sword I believe on this side and then she's of course got her metal armbands and stuff and then her of course uh, knee high boots and stuff like that so here we just have the Wonder Woman and like so of course all the boxes like say stuff on them so this box hers box uh, says warrior princess trained on this uh, secret Amazon island she travels to man's world to defeat the evil Ares and put an end to war um, so that's like the information they give you about her and then of course she comes with her sword which is bent because that's how they package stuff in boxes or the boxes and everything so you can obviously put that um, in her hand and stuff I'll just try and stick it in her even though it doesn't go all the way because of her coat and stuff but then you also get some body parts of Ares so it looks like you get the left hand and right leg even though on the box it shows you're supposed to get corresponding um, body parts um, so we'll obviously just set these aside to do the build of him later and stuff so there you just have just the normal uh, Wonder Woman there as that so we'll move on to the next one which is Steve Trevor so of course like I said the one played by Chris Pine and he's the one that's a soldier in the war that's going on and he comes with a pump action shotgun here as you can see and then just a close up on him as you can see he does kind of look like Chris Pine actually um, and then of course you just got a coat an under um, like shirt jacket a turtleneck and then some uh, like green pants and some like army socks and boots and stuff like that so of course he's in the military and stuff like that so you get him and then he also comes with a lot of stuff so you get um, the upper torso of Ares of course and we'll go into detail once he's put together and stuff but you get that and you get um, his head, which is like a skull, which he does have a face on the inside. I don't know if you can like see that in there. But he has like this, uh, of course, like weird goat skull thing or whatever that goes with it. And his like fire sword type thing. So again, we'll set all the Ares body parts to the side to build later. Um, but that is um, for Steve Trevor. And we'll just read his thing. It says, Captain Steve Trevor is a courageous Amer American fighter pilot performing dangerous undercover missions in World War One. So um, that, like I said, was, I guess, because was, I wasn't sure what war they were in, whether it was one or two, but I guess it is World War One and stuff. Um, so uh, he's, of course, the pilot that, of course, gets uh, in, like, a fight or whatever and gets shot down and lands outside or off the island of um, the Amazon, stuff like that. So that is Steve Trevor. Then next up we'll go with just Princess Diana herself. So this is Wonder Woman before she became Wonder Woman. So there's an up close of her. And then she's just in like, of course, like a corset. I don't know what you'd call it. But like a um, chest plate type thing. And then her dress. She still does have her armbands on. And then, of course, she's wearing some like leather stuff. And then she has the um, like gladiator boots, as I call them, and stuff like that. Just the rubber or leather um, bands wrapped all around. And everything so there is her and then of course you get the same sword with her as well 
with this figure as you do with the other. You get the lasso of truth, even though I'm not sure if she has any place you can stick it. I saw the spot on her dress, so I wasn't sure if there's like a hook under there. But you can probably just like stick it in her hand or something like that. And then she comes with um, the lower, I don't know what you call it, legs or something, upper legs, some, I don't know what you call it, of um, uh, Aries there. So we do have most of them now, just need two more body parts. And so that's for Diana, and it says, Before she was one woman, she was Diana, princess of the Amazons, trained on a remote island as a warrior. So that's information you get about her. And then we'll move on now to the last figure of this set. And this will be, of course, Hippolyta. Oh, come on, focus camera. Hippolyta, which is Wonder Woman's mom. So, of course, she has, she's, I believe, like the queen and stuff like that. So she has a... Um, nicer like um, tiara head thing on and then of course you can see her hair all done up and everything and then she's of course in like this long coat which has I don't know if you can see it on here or not but it has a lot of detail when I first saw I thought it was a cloth because it's got so much um, like cloth detail into it but it's actually just plastic and stuff and of course she has a similar like Wonder Woman outfit but of course it's not the normal colors and stuff but then she has like a dress um, thing that of course comes out and stuff and then she has her boots Kind of like Wonder Woman again, just not the same colors and stuff like that. So we have her there. And then she comes with um, a sword uh, somewhat similar to uh, Wonder Woman's and stuff. It just, to me, like the hilt's a lot nicer and stuff like that. And then um, Wonder Woman's supposed to have like some, some like special sword of like um, like a god related sword or something like that not exactly sure what it's called or anything but like from the movie at least that's what they're showing that it's one of the gift from the gods and stuff and then she also comes with like this spear um weird spear type thing stuff again it's all bit and everything because of the way they package it and then we finally get the last two pieces of Ares with her so we get his right arm and left foot so now we can fully build Ares, which we will do now but before i will read the stuff on hippolyte I don't know, like I said, I call it Hippolyta, but um, in the movie trailer, it sounds like Wonder Woman says Hippola or something like that. Um, but it says Hippolyta is the queen of the Amazons and mother of the young princess Diana. So pretty much what I just said already. But that is her information. So now we'll take a um, pause for a second and build Ares together and then come back with him. Okay, so we got the Ares put together. And so this is kind of what it looks like. I mean, he looks a little weird because his body's all miss or out of shape and stuff so I have to like reform it and early you know like move body parts around the look so here's Aries and so of course we have his head with like I said he has a, like a um, face on the inside and it's like all dark and like grayish black whatever kind of like the rest of his skin and stuff and then of course he has his um, armor all over his body not all over but like over parts of his body and stuff and then he has um, like this neck I don't know what you call it it's like a um, sash type thing but it has like keys on it or something which is kind of weird then of course he has his awesome sword that's all red and then metal and then the handle which i don't know if you can see is like a, like they took like it was metal and like twisted like a metal um like cylinder not cylinder but like a column and like twisted and stuff and it looks really cool but there is of course aries and as you can see he kind of doesn't fit into the screen so i was going to put him next to a wonder woman so yeah, he definitely is taller, which I was um, somewhat hoping he would be and thinking that he should be. So the, of course, this is Ares, the god of war and stuff from mythical stuff, if you know that. And, stuff. and um, so he's what it, we assume is going to be the villain in the Wonder Woman movie. And since it's World War One stuff, it makes sense that he's there for being a god of war and stuff like that. But yeah, as you can see, he is taller than her as he should be and stuff like that. Um, but I think that's really cool. So that's going to be it for the end of this video. If you enjoyed this DC Multiverse unboxing, please leave a thumbs up, leave any comments you have down below, and hit the red subscribe button to see more. And we will see you next time.